Hey guys, it's Ken Vandy, and today I just want to make a quick video showing you how to install the Windows 10 Insider Preview in VirtualBox. Now this will also work for any other version of Windows 10. I'm just using the Windows 10 Insider Preview for this tutorial. First thing you'll need, obviously, is VirtualBox. If you don't already have it installed, there's a link in the description to the website to download it, and you can install it. Second thing you'll need is a Windows 10 ISO for the uh, Windows 10 Insider Preview, you just need to go to this link, this will also be in the description, and sign in with your Microsoft or Outlook account. And then uh, you'll scroll down here and uh, select which uh, build number you want. And if you're just using another version of Windows 10, you'll just have to get an ISO file that you bought or whatever. So after you've installed VirtualBox and downloaded the ISO file, you're going to open VirtualBox and you're greeted with this screen. Let's mi might as well maximize this. Okay, so the setup of virtual machine, first you press new. Now we're just going to come up with a name for the operating system. Let's just name it something uh, really simple to remember because we'll actually need to use this name later and make sure it's on Windows 10 okay there we go next give it some memory you want to give it at least two gigabytes of memory I've got plenty of uh, RAM on my computer so I'm gonna give it four and you need to create a virtual hard drive for it and just keep it dynamically um, allocated. Since this is just a tutorial, I'm only going to give it about 15 gigs. Uh, at bare minimum, you have to give Windows 10 about 12 gigs for it to install right and for it to run correctly. So let's give it 15. So it'll create it. So now we've got our virtual machine made, but now we have to go into the settings. First thing you're going to do is go to storage and then go to the empty CD tray or the optical drive is what it calls it. And you want to click this button right here. And um, you want to click this first option, choose virtual op optical disk file. Now you're going to want to find where your ISO file that you downloaded was or where it is. And here it is in my downloads folder. So I'll select that. And next need to go to display and make sure this is all the way up. Uh, you want to give it as much video memory as possible. You can enable 3D and 2D acceleration sometimes. Uh, it might mess it up depending on which operating system you're uh, going to be using, but I think for Windows 10 enabling both has worked fine for me. And I think that's it, all you need to do. Uh, you can also, in this, uh, you can change the RAM if you find you don't need as much or you need more in this part. But that's the, I think that's all you need to do, and then you just need to start it for the first time. So right now, Windows 10 isn't installed yet on this virtual machine. This is, this is just like a blank computer, kind of. But now it's going, we're going to go through the install process when it boots up for the first time. And we can exit out of this. This is just Windows 10 booting up for the first time. You'll be greeted with a screen that looks kind of like this. Select your language and your keyboard, so like US or whatever, and we'll install it. And this could take a while, but uh, and uh oh, here we go. We're it's asking you for a key. If you're using the Windows Insider Preview, you probably won't have a key in VirtualBox. So just press I don't have a product key and you don't really need it. And for this, I'm going to do Windows Home Insider Preview instead of the Pro version. It doesn't really matter. You can test whatever you want. And accept these terms. Just going to hurry through. And so I'm just going to go custom install and just uh, pretty much you're just selecting which hard drive you're installing it on. So that hard drive that we made when we're setting up the virtual machine, that's what this is. So I made mine 15 gigabytes, and we're just going to do it. 
and it's going to go through the install process and this could take between two minutes or an hour depending on how fast your hard drive is probably not an hour uh, but it'll take a little bit all right and it finished up installing it took probably just under two minutes for me but that's kind of because I'm running my system on three SSDs in RAID 0 so it's extremely fast uh, it'll probably be slower for you it could take about 10 minutes I'm guessing on a traditional just hard disk drive but it's restarting now and it's gonna take another couple well maybe not a couple minutes I don't know we'll see Okay, now we have got to the point where we're going to start setting up our account. Now if you're installing Windows 10 for real, you're probably not going to want to just use the Express settings. It's, Windows 10 has a lot of extra uh, settings you don't want to be on usually, but just for this tutorial I'm going to use Express settings just so it goes faster. I'm just going to delete this machine right, at, right after I install it, so it doesn't really matter for me. And it's also just for testing, so... But if you're going to actually be using this, you want to disable a lot of... You probably want to disable a lot of the privacy set, or you want, to, you want to choose more private settings. Anyway, it's asking you to sign in. Um, I'm just going to make a local account, so the way to do that is you press skip this step. And just name it, uh, I don't know, Kevin Mandy for me. Give it a password. And press next. And starting with this build, I think you have to use Cortana. Although, you can, oh, I guess there is a not now option still. But I guess we'll just enable Cortana anyway. Whatever. And then this screen will take probably a couple minutes. Also, it always says it's this won't take long, but it always does take long. It really just depends on uh, how fast your hard drive is. Or how fast your internet connection for if it's downloading updates. Okay, it looks like it's done setting everything up. And this is our Windows 10 virtual machine. Now you can see that the uh, it's a really tiny screen right now. Its resolution is only, let's see, the resolution's I think like 1024 by 768 or something. And I'm gonna show you a fix for that so we can make this virtual machine uh, uh, full screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the virtual machine. Okay, I don't know what it's doing. There it goes, it's shutting down. Looks like it was starting to download some updates. I think that's why it's taking longer to shut down. Anyway, now it's shut down. And you want to also make sure that a uh, virtual box is closed. But what we're going to do is we're going to run a command in the command prompt to reset a uh, maximum screen resolution uh, for our virtual machine. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, wherever you installed uh, virtual box. So what it is for me is I go on my local disk C and my program files, not program files x86, just program files. And scroll down until you find Oracle folder and then VirtualBox. So now we're in, this is where VirtualBox is installed, all the files. What you're going to do now is you're going to hold down Shift and then right click. And you should get this little option here in the you know, right click menu. It's called Open Command Window here. And now we're just, we have a command window opened in this directory. You can also just change your directory too if you know how to do that. This is the fastest way for me. And we need to type in this command. And 
and I'll just show you what the command is here. I'll have it in the description. But what it is, so you type in vboxmanage.exe, set extra data, then you put the name of your virtual machine, and then uh, custom video one, and then the resolution you want. So I'm going to put in 1920 by 1080, and then uh, that's my screen resolution, and then you have to put uh, times 32 for the color uh, depth. So I'll copy and paste it actually. And then what did we name our, I, mean, I think I named it Win 10 for me. Win 10, okay. Make sure VirtualBox is closed when you uh, run this command. So we're just gonna replace it with Win 10. And that's just the screen resolution I want, so I'm just going to press enter. And I think it should have worked. So we can exit out of this, and hopefully VirtualBox will boot Windows 10. Well, it won't boot it at first, but now when we... Uh, after we launch Windows 10, we should have a setting that where we should be able to run it in full screen, 1920 by 1080p. So we'll boot up and see if it worked. Let's log in. Okay, so right now it's still a tiny screen. Let's go to display settings. Advanced display. Let's see, and there it is, 1920 by 1080. Let's apply it, keep changes. Now if we do our control F, right control F, not just any control button. Now we are in full screen. My full screen is taken up by the virtual machine. It looks like it's, this is the only operating system running, although it's running a little bit slow. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get Windows 10 installed in VirtualBox. Let's look at our what this PC looks like. We have 4.61 gigabytes free out of 14.6. It's a little bit smaller than the 15 gigabytes we get it, gave it, but I think that's because there's a recovery partition that takes up about half a gig or so. But yeah, that's full Windows 10 running now. And yeah. Make sure Edge works. And it's connected to the internet. Let's see. Should connect. Yep. Looks like it loads up the internet. Just fine. Looks like everything's working. If you guys have any problems, uh, feel free to comment below this video and uh, I'll try to answer it uh, if I can. And see you in the next video.